Hey guys, welcome back, and today we are going to talk about bowls. And uh, as a potter, I love to make bowls, and specifically today we're going to talk about a bowl uh, a lot like this, a one pound bowl, or a cereal bowl as I call it. But the great thing about bowls is that they are universal. No matter where you're from, no matter where you live, people use bowls. And uh, uh, as you can see uh, by this bowl, this bowl I just made recently, I fired in my last um, firing in my gas kiln. Uh, it's a combination as far as glazes, it has copper red on the bottom and another glaze that I put on that, that, that uh, causes all this interaction and those drips and runs. And then I have my ash glaze on the outside. And as you can see by the bottom, it does not have a trimmed foot. And I know according to, to some people uh, and, and maybe to uh, your teacher or your professor, that may be a big no-no. Uh, but uh, one of the things that I tried to do is to make a bowl that looked like it had a trimmed foot without actually trimming a foot. So when I throw the bowl on the wheel, which you'll see here in just a second, the bowl will come off the wheel looking exactly like this, and I don't have to put this bowl back on the wheel and trim a foot on it. All I do is once they dry and pop off the bat, I take them and I, I sign them, and I, I trim the bottom just a little bit right around the edge with a knife, and then I bis fire it, glaze it, and when it comes out of the glaze kiln, I sand the bottom once again to make sure it's smooth, and then it's finished. So anyway, we're going to talk through a few things about how how I make this little foot on the bowl without trimming it. And, uh, you know, the shape and size of the bowl really doesn't matter. You guys can adjust that and change that how you want. But I'm specifically just going to talk about a one-pound bowl. And I think these uh, are, when they're made, I think they're about three inches tall and about uh, maybe a little over three inches tall and about eight to eight and a half inches wide. And so, uh, anyway, we're going to give it a shot and, uh, and talk through some things as we throw the bowl. So, let's go. <clears throat> Alright guys, here we are at the wheel, making our one pound bowl. And of course, first thing we got to do is get the clay ball centered, as always. When I'm making these, I open up the center of the clay ball with my thumb on my left hand. Kind of steady it with my right hand on top. And then I actually, when I open up the bottom, I don't open up a flat bottom. I actually kind of like curve the bottom so I can get more of a curve in the bottom of the bowl. Uh, I think it just looks better overall. Then before I start pulling the sides, I'm gonna take my finger and put a swirl in the bottom of it. You probably saw that in the finished bowl at the beginning. Then I'm gonna use my rib in my right hand to actually pull up the side walls and my fingers in, on my left hand on the inside. Plan on making a, that be a part of my tips and tricks videos in the future is how to pull pots with a rib like that. Learned that a long time ago when I first started making pottery. Now I'm going to make the foot and you can see when I do the foot I'm actually going to take my rib I'm going to kind of, first I'm going to clean up around the bottom just a little bit. I'm actually going to take the rib and I'm not going to put it all the way down to the bat. I'm going to leave it up a little bit but I'm going to push in leaving some of the clay that's right there around the bottom to make that foot. After I do that, I'm going to come back, add a little bit of water between my left hand, my middle finger, and, and the rib. I'm actually going to form that foot and make it round. I'm kind of pushing the, the tip of this at the bottom of the, the base of the pot and using my middle finger to kind of round the top of that foot. Now I'm going to take my sponge and clean off right around that. And then I'm going to finish throwing. And now I'm going to put that rib right in that crease, right above that foot, and start shaping from there. Pushing out with my hand from the inside, making the curve. And then I'm going to use my middle finger on my right hand and my these kind of three fingers at the top. And I'm kind of pushing down on that lip and rolling that over and then supporting it underneath with my middle finger. And I push my index finger down to make a little bit of groove in that top lip. Like I said, shape and, and design is not as critical as just the the... the basic skills of throwing the bowl. You guys can adapt and, and, and make any style bowl you want, but there's some basics on how to do that. And we'll go through this uh, one or two more times, show you guys some different angles and uh, how to make that happen and how to get uh, the different parts of that made.
Alright guys, here we are again from a couple different angles to help you guys see what's going on. As you can see there after I center, I'm going to push in with my thumb on my left hand and around that bottom, make it a rounded curved bottom instead of a flat bottom. I'm going to take my index finger on that hand, make the swirl. Now I'm going to push in and holding the, uh, the rib tight to the bat so it cleans up around the bottom of the pot and the bat as well as I do that and then pinch together between the rib and my hand on the inside. Next I'm going to push in pretty aggressively underneath that bowl and do the same thing. I think one of the things that makes a really nice bowl is the ratio of the size of the bottom or the foot compared to the overall width of the bowl. So I want to have a pretty small foot or bottom on it. Now what I'm going to do is push my rib in, make that clay kind of stick out at the bottom there. Then I'm going to push in, my middle finger on this hand is going to kind of push the clay down and my rib's going to come in and kind of push that clay back up and kind of forms that little foot right there on the bottom by having those two things in there. I'm going to clean up around the bottom of the pot and the bat because I don't want to have to get back under there after I'm done. Then I'm going to start the shaping, I'm going to stick my rib right in that crease there and then push out against the rib and kind of roll it as I shape. I'm going to roll over the rim to make the flat rim. Go back and shape one more time, pushing that belly out. Really making a nice curve to that. Sponge out the bottom and we're done. All right, that wraps it up. Thank you guys for being here and uh, being a part of our adventure into uh, one pound bowls, our cereal bowls. And uh, appreciate you, your support of the channel and on the previous videos. And so feel free to like and subscribe and share the video uh, as you want to. And uh, we'll be back soon with another video. And if you guys have any comments or questions, as always, leave them down below and we'll see you soon. Thanks.